it's another box of random stuff from Autovac to go through, see what I got, and maybe see if we can update any project statuses. Yes, yeah, so on this video weekend, this is video two, let's see what's in the box. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? This is all the parts I bought from the closing down sale at Autovac in Worcester. Not all of them are mine, but quite a lot are, so we'll go through it now and see, because I know you all like seeing random parts. Now, the first thing out that isn't for me, my very good friend Steve Cook is having my Hoover F4002 polisher to scrub up his tiled hallway floor because it's my, it's not in good condition. I don't like it. And he can actually use it and make it disgusting. And when I was at back, I saw these, which are brand new scrubbing pads brand new buffing pads and brand new scouring pads which is very handy indeed because although my one has all of those they have been used and I don't know quite how good they'll be so they are for Mr Steve Cook as are these for his big Nilco that he has I saw those and grabbed those for our Steve so that is those. Let me move back a little bit and we'll start piling stuff up. What else is there? Well, go through that little box in a minute. I have two Miele Fibertech floor tools. One of which I am going to keep and I've never used a Fibertech floor tool before. So we'll give that a go. It's in quite good condition. And the other one is still a fair bit used, but this is for Mr. Ollie Albone, I think it was, who needs one of these. So I'm hoping that his top cover is in good condition and he just needs all the underneath bits because the underneath bits are fine. It's got a lint stripper, it's metal base plate. So I'm hoping he can very easily make one good one out of the pair of those. I've also got this, which is the bog standard meter floor tool. Get a little bit scuffed up. I'll just pop that under the camera because there's something under here that we might be able to do something with after going through all these. What else have we got? Well, I have a genuine Electrolux filter for my as yet to be filmed Electrolux 2000 because it will fit that. So that's nice. And there it is. This is the spare hose cuff for the 1996 Henry I got that day. That's quite good to see. I thought I'd, I'd, I'd left that there. Now somebody asked me about Bax 2000 parts on one of the Facebook groups. I can't actually remember who it was, but I thought of him when I saw these. We have a uh, Filter kit for a Vax, well, it's all one of the Vaxes really, Vax cylinders. We have a Vax 2000 floor tool, although it won't go down because the should be a, a rubber strip there has folded itself under. So he's going to have that. We have a cloth bag, which looks unused, and another although very, very faded, auto mop. Inside this auto mop box we have the auto mop itself, unused, completely unused, and a nice, again unused, bottle of solution, which looks a little bit lighter than my one. If you've watched all of my Vax 121 videos, it has been opened. Doesn't smell as strong, I'll be honest. But yeah, you can have that. It all came in together, really. So and there's the auto mop instructions there as well. Let me just get this back in its box. Don't know if he wants it. If he doesn't, I'll sell it. 
Oh, they are utterly worthless. I'll probably let them give it away. There we go. Pop that back in there. And they all came in this bag, so everything goes back in this bag. Why the devil not? So yeah, this was all together. There was a Max 2000 there, but the rings had snapped on the casters. Although it might have had decent motor in it, actually. I didn't think of that. Woe is me. We have two Dirt Devil Genuine Replacement Belts. And the reason that I got these Genuine Replacement Belts is, if I can put it down without knocking it on my head, the Dirt Devil Titan is a DD6001. Ah, I knew I was right. And these belts fit a DD6001. So these, I'm just off camera, opening the Dirt Devil bag door, lobbing them in there, and closing it again. So there we go, I have some belts for the Dirt Devil, which is good. I need to sneeze, hang on. Oh no, it's gone. I might come back and bite us in the bum. What else have we got? We have some genuine Hoover washers. These are the wobble washers that you've probably often heard me talking about. They sit behind the brush roll bearings and pack them out. And, oh my God. There's a hole in the bag. Some have just gone everywhere. Well, I can show you one now. They're bent. And they basically just provide tension to the back of the bearing. And they do occasionally snap and you can't get them for love nor money. Well, I've got a whole packet. I've got to be very careful with those now. They don't keep falling out. I think I'll pick them all up. So yeah, so there's those. I have a genuine spring bouquet air freshener. Yes. Can't smell it outside the packet. Don't, I, if I've got another one of these, because I've got, I think I have, I've got one of each. Might have a couple of each. I might have to follow in Ibasiac's shoes and see if we can get that used one month this year. Don't know, I don't think I've got any Hoover cylinders with the air freshener slot. But we might just be able to lob it in the bag and have done with that. Talking of Hoover cylinders. It did seem rude not to pick up this genuine Hoover Galaxy filter. Um, although I've got a couple of packs of Hoover Galaxy bags, these have, I'm trying to open them yet, a different type of bag fitting. Because if you remember, you probably haven't seen it yet actually, I have done a Galaxy video and mine leaks dirt all around the bag seal. And I've, mine, have, mine has a different fitting when I blame the seal. So hopefully I'm right and these different type of bags, they must be slightly later, will help that tremendously. And what else have we got? We have a Hoover Turbo Power 1 lower cord hook. Two Hoover Turbo Power rear wheels, they are always handy. This is good. This is an um, Electrolux Dolphin Hose. It is a pattern part, but looks, it's a little bit faded, but it looks identical to the original. This is handy if I want to use a Dolphin for, oh, the fact it's open, so we can have a look. Uh, it has been used, oh, okay. Maybe not because it is broken. Damn. But possibly not insurmountable. Because I think I've got some ends. Or I can just stick another end on this hose. Oh, I didn't fully notice that, but you know what? I'm not too fast. Caveat emptor, it will still be handy to have. There is another Turbo Power 1 lower cord hook. Not, yeah, that's just some rubbish in the bottom of the bag, I think. We have, I don't think it's genuine. But I do think it is. We have an electric dolphin floor tool, brand new, but there is nothing written down there, look, where there should be electric. However, 
as a chap who has taken apart many Electrolux cleaners, they all have stickers on them saying built by and then a four digit code, rather like this one does. So I think it is a genuine, it's a, I, I think it's a genuine brush bar, brush, yeah, what I mean, brush head, but a later one, obviously after the thing had been discontinued, after they discontinued golfing, they would have still made the spare parts for them. I think that is what that is. So it is genuine, but it's not genuine. If that makes sense. Inside this little box, I have three Mila S5 rear covers that are not scratched up. I, there were a lot of these. Sadly, there were no on-off pedals and cord rewind pedals that weren't scuffed up either, because I'd have had those. But I've got those. They are terrible for that nice finish coming off. I have an old-style pneumatic upholstery brush, which will go with 1996 Henry when he stops being a project. We have... Ah, this is for... Mr. Daniel Shanks as well, a pneumatic dusting brush. Pop that in there. But I have a full set of Mila tools that I found. I have a brand new, although, you know what, the packet's a bit open. So, let's open this up. A brand new Hoover, and it is genuine Hoover, it's Hoover candy, Pip Fit dusting brush. Okay, so that comes in handy one day. This was nice. The lady who ran the back shop, Dennis, knows, in fact, you all know as well how rubbish I am with my crimps. Well, ladies and gentlemen, not anymore. We have male spades, butt crimps, female spades, female spades, male spades, everything. I am now fully sorted for crimps. And some more of these. I think I need to get myself one of those organiser boxes and stop having them rolling around the bottom of my toolbox. The last thing in this box are these. These are bearing caps for Hoover brush rolls. Yes, again, these. These always wear right down. They sit over the brush roll. There's like a little lip. And they always wear out. Always, always, always. And again, these are in a box. And I'll just open this bit of paper. This is, oh, they're, not, they're not genuine. They are a genuine VCJ spare. Either way, completely rare and impossible to get hold of. And I now have lots. So, thank you very much, Dennis, for letting me have all these. But all the Mina tools. Yes, all the meaner tools. Well, all the meaner tools were because I remembered halfway there that we have this, don't we? We have this meaner cleaner that you have all seen, I think. And a good long while ago now, Mr. Daddy Ruff, his name's Rich, but on Instagram he's Daddy Ruff, sent me a new hose inlet from a machine with a power takeoff socket, however, it should fit very well. Because, oh, it doesn't fit. Oh, that's annoying. It doesn't fit. It is different. Oh, thank you, Rich, but no, it's not quite enough. I think I'm just going to glue this on. Damn it, that is different. Oh well, the thought was there. Thank you, Rich. It's the wrong part. If anybody needs one of those, I have one. Oh, so near and yet so far. But never mind. Another day. Because I couldn't remember what tools I had for it. And it turns out I was right. I don't have any. And now these aren't the lift. So I now have a dusted brush. I now have a slightly better, in fact, much better, crevice tool. Should fit, doesn't change the shape. And an upholstery brush. Marvellous. So that is very good. So this is going to get its 
bag entry thing bodged up now. I've tried, somebody else has tried and been very nice. In fact, I do have one of these now, so it's not all lost. I have the cover that should go across there when the thing is, in fact, let's pop that in here. Because that is handy. That is a shame. I mean, we, we weren't 110 percent sure, so I can't be too hard. But yeah, no, it's not to be, sadly. So yes, I shall just be gluing this broken bit in once all is washed and dried and polished. I shall glue it in, and we shall say no more about it. Silly, silly thing. But the other reason I've got these four tools is because obviously this hasn't got one. Notice that was cracked either. Oh, that, that'll do up this little crack in the top of the wand cap. There were lots of wands, but this one this one does have a good wand. So I can either have what I presume is the correct floor tool for it, if I can get it to fit. There we go. So that is probably the correct floor tool. Which, yep, yeah, that does fit. I think that is right. But then I'm also going to try the Mila Fiber Tech because I've not tried one before. It's always handy to have Mila floor tools around. Come on, you sod. There we go. Which well, should also fit because it uses the same mechanism, really. So, yes, this is now in a state where it is complete enough to be used. Oh, look. There's the other wobble washer that I thought was lost, put that in there. So yes, this is now ready to go almost, to be used, to see what happens, obviously the hose is filthy but sound, oh, yeah, that, that won't clip in yet because it needs another bit clipped in. So there we go, a successful haul really, there's only one more thing left to show you which I haven't got on me, it is its own separate video because it is a vacuum cleaner, so you won't see that this weekend. So depending on how well these two videos go down, would you like another Saturday video? If I do, because lots of you should like this machine. This is a machine that is very new and very broken. We all like very new and very broken, don't we? We'll see, otherwise you will see it around the end of August. But that's it really, that's it for now. I've gone through my parts, I can put them in the shed, file them away and get cracking with everything. So, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.